In this video I'm going to show you how to compile kernel and run the board over network. In the beginning the kernel will be downloaded from a TFTP server and the file system will be mounted over network. In the first step we will prepare the kernel and we will use the steps here. I will just copy and place the commands. This will clean all the old files from the previous compilations. This will set uh, set the kernel for using the default configuration for our hardware and this command actually compiled the image. After the compilation the image is located here and we will copy it to TFTP server directory. Now the kernel has been compiled and uh, we just copy the image to our TFTP server. Don't forget to do this. Once the kernel has been compiled we can run these commands on our board. I placed all these commands on one line it's uh, faster. Control C. I open the console output from my board. I reboot the board. Interrupt this and paste the commands here. All these are the environmental variables which are now set and we can uh, reboot the board. the board now. Download the kernel from uh, the FTP server and mount the file system. Here it mount file system from the host machine. To explain a little bit about the commands, don't forget you need to set this IP address to your IP address of the host machine where the EZ SDK is installed and also check the console output because some boards may use different serial ports. In my case here it, I use serial port 0 by default on EZ SDK they use serial port 2 for console output. Now let's check the console and as you can see the board booted up up to the login prompt and the Linux is ready.